Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Design for Reliability Design has a major impact on the reliability of products. Design for Reliability, DFR, can be considered as a strategy of designing and developing products with focus on achieving high reliability. DFR requires planning for reliability by setting appropriate targets and providing adequate resources for various related activities. Here is a list of some drivers of high reliability. It is not all inclusive, but important drivers are listed. We must understand the customer requirements well to provide reliable design that performs well for the customers. It is necessary to provide adequate resources during design and development, otherwise we may have surprises later. Technical competence of designers plays important role because otherwise product may not be able to meet customer requirements. Target setting and allocation. Targets may be set based on customer requirements, benchmarking with the competitive products, market condition, company's business aspirations. Adequate safety margins must be provided for the designs. Use of tools such as failure mode effects analysis, design reviews play important role for the teams. Optimization using design of experiment would be beneficial in most cases. Robust design. Robust design can be useful for making sure that the product is immune to or less uh, prone to problems because of the external noise factors. Part selection plays important role in the actual design. Adequate testing needs to be done so that reliability is validated and demonstrated before the product goes into production. And finally, ease of maintenance may become important during servicing. Quality function deployment is an effective tool to transform customer requirements into product specifications. QFD is backbone of assuring that the customer requirements and priorities are addressed in the design so that the product meets and satisfies the requirements efficiently. Providing adequate and competent resources is important. During design and development, adequate and competent resources must be provided. Inadequate resources at the design and development stage can result into what is sometimes called a double hump camel of excessive warranty and campaign costs after the start of production. We have explained the concept of reliability allocation in our video on this subject. While designing products, we need to address variation in stresses and strength to determine probability of failure and identify the associated risk. You have already learned this aspect in the video on load strength interference. Another essential tool that must be deployed during design and development is failure mode effect analysis. You will remember the videos on DFMA rating guidelines and application case studies. Design of experiments is a powerful tool for optimization of product performance and reliability. You can learn about design of experiments in the following videos. As we have learned, robust design is immunizing design to variation in noise factors. This is briefly discussed in the video on this subject. Concept of statistically analyzing tolerances was also explained in one of our previous videos. This helps in optimizing tolerances while managing manufacturing costs. Various considerations for parts, materials and process selection have direct impact on reliability of products. 
This aspect was discussed briefly in the video on this subject with examples. Testing is critical for validation of reliability as well as performance of products. Some strategies were discussed in some of our previous videos addressing accelerated life testing and reliability growth models. In the growth models, we have discussed the Duan model and the AMSA model. During service, ease of maintenance and providing diagnostic tools become important to assure reliability when the product is used by the customers. We have discussed maintainability and availability earlier in one of our videos. Let us do a quick recap. Design has a major impact on the reliability of products. Design for Reliability DFR is a strategy of designing and developing products with focus on achieving high reliability. DFR requires planning for reliability by setting appropriate targets, providing adequate resources for various related activities as outlined in this video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.